if you were going to ask me who I was, there's there. I feel like there's this defining line from who I was pre U grad and post U grad. I I kind of feel more confident about who I am, and not just because of who I am as a person, but because of who I am as a Filipino, as a woman, as a person who is part of a certain of a bigger a bigger system or a bigger network of people. My name is Pia Betsmonte. Uh, I'm a Global U grad batch 2011-2012. I studied world literature at Barnard College and Columbia University. <laughs> this is what we hold up for pictures uh, when we go to different places. And it looks really worn out because I took this everywhere I went when I was in the States. It was with my... Being at uh, Barnard ID. and being in New York City really changes the way you see the world because um, from I am a small I'm a small girl <laughs> from I, I just had I'm a very simple girl before coming before winning the the scholarship grant to Barnard um, I didn't know that I could develop my skills and my art and learn so much more in, in the ways that I did there and it was really such an eye-opening experience for me so empowerment I guess in the sense that it encourages you to be more than who you are because you are representing your country you're representing your culture so you're bringing all the stuff from the Philippines from your culture your family your values yourself and then you're going to learn new things and exciting things outside when I went to Barnard in New York and I, I had the UGAD experience, I had different volunteer and internship experiences, which I think really uh, developed my leadership and mentorship skills in the sense that um, I was with the extended Barnard Reach Out program for my volunteer experience. And I was also with a firm. Uh, it's, a, it's a transnational uh, women's rights group in New York City um, these two experiences so that was for my internship uh, artist apprenticeship with Ninoch Karoska my the thing that I took home from that is that you can create your own volunteer or you can create your own um, programs in terms of what you can do for other people or, or how you can help it's not just you know, being a leader and being being a mentor is not just being there. Sometimes you have to um, create or you have to initiate things. And I think that's really what I, I realized that, hey, I can, I can actually start something, start a project and maybe help more people rather than if I were just one of the, the people who work in the back American students and international students alike so I got a lot of this a friend of mine wrote my name in uh, Chinese so she's one of my closest friends even to this day I think and that that is the, the purpose of all of this of the exchange programs of Fulbright in in the broader sense of the word it's letting people find pieces of themselves in other nationalities, in other cultures, in other people from different parts of the world. So you wouldn't feel that you are as different from them because difference breeds distance. It's more than just the name of being a Fulbright Scholar or a Global U Grad Scholar. It is a challenge. <laughs> Basically, it is a challenge to learn more about yourself and your culture and the culture of other nations and of the United States while you are there, it is a challenge to outgrow your notions of smallness. I will use the notion of smallness by Nick Joaquin um, to step out of the boundaries that we make for ourselves because of our you know, underprivileged status in society. Um, I would like to inspire and I would like to challenge um, the Filipino youth to actually try something that 
they are not certain about that somebody just told them about to maybe you know find themselves out there and more than that to come back and to serve and to lead and to inspire change which we really need in our society at this moment.